away from the minimum wage. The bulk oil storage and transportation companies' current strategic reserve for the country can only last two weeks. The managing director, Edwin Povenka, who made this known at a media engagement, suggested a strategic reserve levy to enable the company increase its storage capacity. The managing director of the Bulk Oil Storage and Transport, BOST, Edwin Provencal, said even though BOST has managed to pay a debt from 2017 to 2020, it still lacks adequate funds to increase its strategic reserves. He also asked about strategic reserves. So today we have about two weeks. We have about two weeks. Uh, but there's a, there's a key point here. Even though we have two weeks, uh, I will not even term them strategic reserves because strategic reserves has to be paid for by the beneficiaries, which, are the, which is the public. As I speak to you, nobody pays for strategic reserves. It's been zeroed out in the price builder. So even though we want to enjoy that public good called the strategic reserve, you and I are not paying for it. So if you want to benefit from the strategic reserves, then we need to put in the strategic reserve levy that will now force BOSS to keep six weeks of strategic reserves. He said BOSS in 2017 had a trade debt of $624 million and a legacy loan of 273 million CDs. We had 100% of our pipelines out of service. We also had 100% of our marine assets out of service. Uh, we also had some pipelines boxed during President Buford's regime stuck in Houston. That pipeline was supposed to have been used for to replace our six-inch pipeline from Tema to Akosombo. So this was the state of bust in January 2017. He indicated that BOSS has paid all a debt and has increased its profit margins. We've been able to clear almost 96% of our legacy trade debts. The $624 million, we've been able to clear 96%. The rest is work in progress and hopefully by the end of this year, that the rest will be clear. He said even though new pipelines have not been added to the existing ones since 2017, 40 pipelines have been repaired.